Hey, hey, Fibers, it's Anisha from the 5 Years to 40 podcast and community, and I'm back for day six of our amazing month of August. All this month, we'll be talking about authenticity and taking action. And the end, the desired end result is to, by the end of August, we know some really beautiful ways that we can forge ahead to that fascinating, fabulous life we're always talking about. So if you're just catching up or if you're just joining us, remember to go back and look at the earlier episodes because there's a lot of information there. And if you have been here all these past six days, thank you. I love that you did that. And can I just add though, if you have been, can you like send feedback, even if you're just direct message it just you know let me know what your thoughts are about authenticity and let me know what your thoughts are about taking action and I I want I would love to have a discussion about how fellow Millennials are feeling about you know being authentic and being you know urged to to take action and do things to improve their lives and, and improve the lives of others around them so I'm up, I'm down for it. I'm up for it. I'm down for it. Let's have a conversation. So today we're talking about authenticity in your health. And I just want to share that, you know, one of the traits of authentic people is that they're, they, they tend to be honest and, and honest and transparent. And I found that they also, they also tend to be compassionate, right? So that's three things, honest, transparent, compassionate. And I found that these things, uh, these three traits really helped me to, to, improve my health so in june i believe it was in june i started a 30 day of fitness program with caroline roberts and be sure to go and look if you follow on youtube subscribe and then look at that that video where i interviewed caroline she's a, a health fitness coach and she runs a facebook group where persons commit to working out for at least 20 minutes every day for 30 days so it's not a it's not a challenge she does not use the word challenge but it is a way where people can be accountable and people can feel comfortable it's not like you know it's not a biggest loser thing well who loses the most weight it's not that pressure but it's just you being honest with yourself being transparent by posting every day about the things that you did or didn't do and being compassionate because that group has a lot of support like if you say like i remember the first month i did it everything went great and the second month i really started to struggle i was feeling really tired sometimes all i would do is just 20 minutes yoga alone and the month before that i was like on the road every monday wednesday fridays i was doing a lot more and i started to feel like really discouraged and when i posted that there was just like an outpouring of people T- reminding me to be compassionate to myself and telling me it's okay like everybody struggles and we can get past it and I found that so relieving and and I of course adopted it and pushed through that second month I, I didn't work out for three of the 30 days and and that was it so it 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 really reminded me of how compassion and honesty because if i had gone on there and said that i worked on the days that i didn't i would not have been motivated and i would not have gotten that compassion from people you know so the transparency really helped me so that's why i'm encouraging when it comes to your health you know be honest with yourself if you know that you want to lose 30 pounds like think about the ways you can do it think about the ways you can uh not just decide you would take the cabbage soup that cabbage soup won't work i did it and it doesn't work like you lose the weight and then the next week it's back don't do the cabbage soup and it's really oh gosh your stomach but anyhow so you you know be honest with yourself what would it take how long do i think it would take and then when you're being honest with yourself be transparent like have somebody who's able to keep you accountable as a matter of fact you could join Carlene's group and I'll leave the information in the description of this if you're looking at it on YouTube it's in the description if you look at it on IG it's in the comments you'll see my comment with her uh, her information that you can find so if you want to join that group you can and yeah so be be transparent and be allow yourself to be compassionate so those three things I think really helped me to improve my relationship with my health and 
I just hope, and those are all authentic traits, so I just hope that you might be able to find it useful too. You might be able to spend the, the, the next couple of months just being the most. And if you already have a wonderful relationship with your health, I love that. I mean, thank you for thank you for, for being a light for us, you know, and, and be sure to leave a comment to let us know the things that you try. Like if you, I mean, what, what are the things that keep you motivated and disciplined to continue taking care of your health in a meaningful way? And guys, listen, don't gloss over this. Like health is really important as we, as we get, you know, as we get towards this fascinating age that we're talking about here, we need to take care of this beautiful body that God has given us. And and it's easy to say, oh, you know, I don't have time, but start today. Like, even if it means eating one sandwich less, or even if it means drinking a little bit more water. And if you want more tips about eating healthy and being well, be sure to look at the episode, the, the two-part episode with Kataka uh, from Roots International, and you would see some really good content there to help you to improve your health process, your health, your health overall. So guys, I hope you found that useful. Remember to follow us on Instagram, follow on YouTube, subscribe, tell your friends about this and wear your mask and keep doing the most. Bye.